If you've been exploring crypto, you might have come across the term DAO. It sounds technical and mysterious, but DAOs are actually one of the most revolutionary ideas in the blockchain world. In this video, I'll explain what a DAO is, how it works, and why people think it could change how organizations and communities operate. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Let's break that down. Decentralized means there's no single person or company in charge. Autonomous means it runs on its own through code and smart contracts. And organization means it's a group of people working together toward a common goal. So a DAO is basically an organization that runs on blockchain technology instead of being controlled by bosses or executives. In a traditional company, decisions are made from the top down. There's a CEO, managers and employees. In a DAO, decisions are made by the community, usually through voting. The rules are written in smart contracts, self-executing programs that live on the blockchain. Once those rules are set, they can't be easily changed, which makes DAOs transparent and trustworthy. For example, imagine a group of developers creating a new DeFi project. Instead of forming a traditional company, they launch a DAO. People who believe in the project can buy or earn governance tokens. These tokens give them voting power. When a decision needs to be made, like funding a new feature or changing a fee structure, members vote using their tokens and the majority decides what happens. Everything is recorded on the blockchain for everyone to see. One of the best things about DAOs is that they allow people from anywhere in the world to collaborate without needing to trust each other personally. The code and the blockchain handle the trust. Payments, proposals and votes are all automatic. It's like running a company that doesn't need an office, a bank account or even a legal structure in one country. Some famous DAOs include MakerDAO, which governs the DAI stablecoin, and Uniswap DAO, which manages the development of one of the biggest decentralized exchanges. There are also DAOs focused on investing, funding new projects, or even owning digital art and NFTs together. But DAOs aren't perfect, because they rely on smart contracts, bugs, or coding mistakes can lead to serious problems. One of the earliest DAOs, simply called the DAO, was famously hacked in 2016, resulting in millions of dollars being stolen. That incident even led to Ethereum's blockchain being split into two Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. It was a major lesson about the risks of putting power entirely in code. Another challenge is participation. In many DAOs, only a small percentage of token holders actually vote, which can make the system less democratic than it seems. Sometimes a few big holders called whales can dominate decisions, just like large shareholders in traditional companies. Still, DAOs represent an exciting new model for organizing people and resources online. They allow for transparency, community control, and global participation. As the technology improves, DAOs could eventually replace or complement traditional companies, nonprofits, and even governments in certain areas. To put it simply, a DAO is like an internet-based company that runs without a boss. The rules are coded into the blockchain, decisions are made by token holders, and everything happens automatically and transparently. It's a glimpse into how organizations of the future might work. And that's what a DAO is explained simply. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more easy crypto breakdowns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.